Okay, we arrived um, in Morakath and about to enter the House of Horrors. At least that's the name of the quest. I don't need to know what you want from this distance. Show me what you've got, game. Fresh food. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here. Recently. But the people I asked say no one enters or leaves. Wait, did you hear that? I think it came this way. That's it. Something's inside the house. Come on, we're getting to the bottom of this. I'm suspicious because the guy's name is Tyrannus. Like a... Totally a villain name. Come out. We know you're here. There's another door. See if you can get it open. Stendar's mercy. This isn't an ordinary Daedra. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. You first. Come on. Let's go. Get out of my head, Daedra. You will kill or you will die. I don't want to die. I can't die here. Pedro has us. It's you or me. What was that? Let's be fair, it's gonna be you. Your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Let's go, Mr. Bajun. Yes, further into the bowels. So close, your prize is waiting. This is the face of Molag Paul, the same guy that caused Vampire to become. A reality. Fool! Did you think Molek Bal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak! An altar. Yes. It's an altar. Men would come and sacrifice the wretched in my name. The weak would be punished by the strong. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies, and my rival Boethia had her priest desecrate the altar until you came. Want revenge on Boethia? Yeah. Revenge? No. I want submission. I want the priest who did this to bend his knee and give me his soul. He comes by to perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing. Captured and bound. Left to rot. Save him. Let him perform his right one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him.
<sighs> Find the breeze of boy. Anything noteworthy here? Seems like a fairly typical house with your typical crap. I mean, various high quality items of value. Maybe a chest or two that might contain something, but most seems something that you wouldn't really even bother with. 18,000. Well, we probably can lose a lot of money if we, the more we start to buy training, so it wouldn't be out of place for us to try to get a little bit of cash. However, I don't think I want to go through dressers and things like that anymore. Major chests, on the other hand, is another matter. They should provide enough loot for us to make through. Going just through every little container is so time consuming. Brucar's Leap. It's on the river. Hmm. Might be best off just going to Morka's Gore or Dark Pole Cave from there. There's no obstructions, we would have to just follow the river there. No. No, 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 no. I think we have. Yeah, we have a lot of carry weight. father, and his father before him. No, I'm not Arnleif. Yes, I know it's called Arnleif and Sons. This store has seen better days, hasn't it? Oh, by the divines, is it that obvious? I swear, if my Gunnar was alive to see me now, this store would finally be on its feet if I hadn't lost my last shipment to the Forsworn attacks. Especially made the Bella statuette. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? I'll pay you if you can recover that statuette from the Forsworn. I'll do it. Thank you. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for you when you return. Who? So who was Arnleif? I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleif. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago, for sworn attack. I miss that stubborn move. There was an attack in the marketplace. No, as if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? Gods help us. Oh, a bit of this, and a bit of that. Hmm. The Ethereal Crown is an automatic 100 extra carry weight for us. Have to keep that in mind. But what's weighing so much? Immune to disease and poison. Orkish armor of eminent alteration, yeah. Uh, things like that will do it. Steel plate, the helmet of major alteration. Come back whenever you need something.
I find your hand in my pocket. I'm going to cut it off. Don't worry, I'm too good for you. I'm both Ella's assistant. She's the one you should talk to if you need an herb or a potion. I have potions for disease, love sickness, irritating children. The Hacks Cure. That's a unique name. <laughs> Comes with living to a ripe old age. People start thinking there's something magical about you. Then, the insults. Still, a little knowledge of plants and potions can get you by. Not that anyone likes to admit buying things from you. See? I even have a little potion for the steward. Mind handing it over to him? Just say it should solve that problem he has. I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you. What do you know about the forest sword? Only that they break an old woman's heart. So many friends, so many kin. All lost trying to rebuild a past that was over long ago. Take a look. Ah. It lit a version to fire. Target is 100% weaker to fire damage for 30 seconds. So, yeah, I really still like the idea of sort of a shooting an arrow from a hit position against the target and then just blasting it to bits with spells. It's... I guess the problem is, it's in no way necessary. Things like that. So, power level just keeps going up and up and up. At the same time, if you make it so that it's absolutely necessary, and without it, it's going to be a huge pain to ask to do anything. But I don't know. What would be a good balance now, there? You you Generally, I think the else. pure adding percentage bonuses to a game, here. you should be fairly conservative with them. They can e very easily break a uh, system entirely. And then you have a balance problem. A real balance problem. Either everything does nothing, uh, or the powered up abilities are way, way overpowered. I'm so. I'm Gorz's assistant. I help him with the forge. Don't bother with Tacitus. Useless. What's wrong with him? Tacitus? Boy, is an Imperial. I keep showing him how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. If you find a book called The Last Scabbard of Akrish, could you bring it to me? Tacitus sure isn't learning by example. Thanks. Where did you learn to smith? Grew up in a stronghold. Every orc girl tended the forge at some point. But a girl has to grow up, and life in the stronghold asks for a lot in return. So I joined the Legion, mastered my trade there. Are all the strongholds guarded? No, you grew up in a stronghold. That's right. An orc stronghold. Kept to ourselves, lived as our ancestors would have wanted. Wasn't enough for me, though. I left. Didn't want to end up as the third wife of some lowly chieftain. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Hmm. Well, we might be able to get rid of something. Yeah, this will ease up a little bit. Ooh, we have a quick few ore. Let me know if that is good. That's actually very good. 
Because that's something we can easily rectify when necessary. But the Daedric Lord mission here. Uh, could be a simple matter. We need to reach a river. Are you people on the board? They're basically protecting themselves from much attacks, and that's the only thing they're doing. What? Fuck, dragon! I'm dead. Single attack, and I'm dead. Yeah, did not notice that. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, dragons, I, I don't mind dragons being like that throughout the game. I, I prefer that they are extremely tough. But yeah. When shit hits the fan, it hits that. It really hits it. Still, I was a bit surprised how well we did against the uh, all this. I guess we have a, we have good magical resistances. That's intentional. Breathe on me. Yeah, I can easily deal with this. Dolly duck. Good. So the investment in resistances paid off quite well. I need to attract attention. I can cast a spell once. Low motion flying. Any shells that would be useful. Not really. Perhaps I think about it. We are our skills. To switch equipment. This is terrible for what we're trying to do. The force worn armor set. It's on, motherfucker. Where's my ice lances?
quick throw the burning. I don't think I'll take the Kraken part. A little quiet. Ah, uh, the bolt. Well, whatever. It it just it just so drastic. A massive change in combat capability. Hmm. Oh. Melee would not have been an option. Melee would require distraction. I guess sides would be the easiest to attack, but front is a no no area. We look normal? Yeah. Just making sure I'm not doing anything stupid. No cultists this time. Dragon burial site. We don't have to go directly to the target. What we need to do is point to you guys. Drain my tablet. I only wouldn't mind more powers, but at the same time, I'm not sure I want to go hunting for them. Maybe farm physical combat capabilities improve somewhat. That's it. It's a forest war camp. What's going on? Ravager. Fools, yeah. That is tough. That fucker is tough. The problem is, I, I, there's no way for me to stagger the bastard. It's nothing. If he gets to attack, jeez. Two weapon attack style. No. No, I think he had two weapons, I'm pretty sure about that. My memory is not quite that bad. But it's again a reminder that good offense is usually a much better defense than anything else. If we sort of go on the defensive, even though we can protect ourselves and block to some extent, we're always in a bad position if we end up doing that. And those things are probably not the worst force one have in store for us. There's the inevitable Briar Heart, for example.
Here's Briarheart. I'm not sure how they compare against the Ravagers. Looked like a caster of some sort. Didn't have weapons ready. Didn't see any weapons being carried. Problem being, he's not a balloon here. Which Ravager versus Briarheart? Ravager might win. It's fairly strong attacks. It's unrelenting in attacking. Yeah. Ravager is stronger. At least in a situation like this. It was a fairly close fight though, otherwise we wouldn't have we would not have been able to do enough damage to kill him. So I think the difference between these situations is that prior hearts are basically more of a Static level opponent. They're going to be top right from the start and reasonably formidable at the end of the game. While uh, Ravagers don't appear until they're the scaled opponent. Make sure that we're going to have to sweat a little bit even uh, on later levels. Chant increase to 17. Well, that's going to help a lot. It's not the place to come though. Yeah, they were about to make another Briar Heart here. Heart's been removed. Still. This is not the thing we're here for. Logger all the rule. You there. Are you here to kill me? Slay the mighty Logrolf! While he sits tied and helpless. Here to rescue you. Rescue? <laughs> no one knew where I was when I was taken. Who sent you? Hmm. Boethia. The Dark Mistress? She sent you? Oh, wait, wait. Bullock Paul's altar? Of course. I have to get to Markarth at once. Cut me loose. Oh, freedom. Now get out of my way. I have a task to attend to. Go to the abandoned house. Don't mind if I do. The travel time should be about right. I haven't noticed any vampire attacks recently. Hopefully I won't see them in the city areas anymore. I, I, I really don't like them at all. The one thing I dislike about Dawnguard.
is it? It's also because it's not a... Well, it's not too tough of a campaign really to complete. But it's uh, because of how it's implemented, it sort of uh, heavily tries to push you in uh, trying to act on the, on the vampire threat sooner rather than later. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but this is uh, more or less an open world game. So I wish I wouldn't be pushed quite that hard. Vampire attacks are fine. My biggest gripe is exactly that it uh, kills NPCs, valuable NPCs. Not that they're a threat to me. So like Paul, you think you can best Boethius faithful? I have won this contest before! Ah, but I have my own champion this time, Logroth. What? You? Mortal, I give you my mace in all its rusted spitefulness. Crush the spirit from Logroth's bones. Make him bend to me. What's he make? I'll never submit! <laughs> never should have come here. <laughs> Do your worst, monster. <laughs> you mortals are frail, limp, pathetic bodies. Try it again. Missing with Daedric Lords is a serious business thing. I don't surrender. I. No more. No more. I submit, Molag Ball. I submit. You bend to me? Yes. You pledge your soul to me? Yes. You forsake the weak and pitiful Boethia? Yes. You're mine now, Logroth. Kill him. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. The mace of Molek Bal. I give you its true power, mortal. When your enemies lie broken and bloody before you, know that I will be watching. Nice looking mace. Now, I have a soul in oblivion that needs claiming. Take care of the house while I am gone. <laughs> <laughs> Wooded black room made troops. Right. I don't think this is particularly good maze, uh, although I don't know. That's a lot of damage. A ton of damage, in fact. Although I have nothing to compare it to, really. That's 25 points of stamina damage. That's 25 points of magicka damage. Okay. The target dies within 3 seconds, feels a soul gem. It's not bad. It's a one handed weapon. Yeah, it's more of a... it fatigues and breaks down the opponent. Without stamina, warrior can't fight, without magic armage can't do shit. It's not a bad weapon by any sense, and uh, I suppose a decent weapon earlier on, because of the pre... soul... soul... <laughs> Jesus Christ... soul trapping. Soul trapping is sort of rubbish, though. It, there's no point really having duration in it. Two seconds, I guess, is really the most you would ever need. One second if you kill yourself, I mean, with your own hit is the lethal blow. Two gives you a little bit of a room there. If someone else happens to get the killing blow, you're still going to get the soul. Yeah. Oh, it's a ton. But I like the look of it.
We can put it, showcase it in our manner. Uh, I doubt I'll use it. Maces are the slowest weapon anyway. I suppose if you have a mace specialization, the armor, I think they get armor penetration, then it's a very, very good thing to have. We buy light armor training. I think we need for this level. For sure, we must have. Ah. Daedric missions aren't necessarily long ones, but sometimes they didn't are somewhat interesting. This wasn't too interesting. The start was more promising than the actual uh, mission itself. Hmm. Well, we have at least a couple more missions here. I mean proper missions. I think I'll go to going around town talking to people a little bit more. You never really know if any, anything out of the ordinary, out of the normal appears. You should try to take it. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. There, you a fighting gal? How about a little bet? Where do you work? Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. I'm a porter. Just some muscle hired to move heavy packages. But we don't get any shipments in. Four swore and attack every caravan. So all I do is sit here and drink. I think I'm going to get another drink. Don't mind the yelling. My parents are always going at each other. Father. What can an old skull speech. do for you, huh? We don't fight, son. Speech training. We, um, well, talk. you've come to the right now. place. Well, I need to talk so loud. Good fighting to you. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Make me an offer, and I just might fight at your side. Quite a lot of these uh, house carls and soldiers of fortune would be potential uh, marriage partners too. Watch your back, friend. They would be good Better in yet. the sense because they I have guaranteed combat you. capability. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Heard any rumors? Did you hear? The Hall of the Dead is closed. Brother Varalis isn't the most popular man in town right now. Degain the beggar got himself kicked out of the Temple of Debella. Caused quite the ruckus. Remember, ale Temple is cheaper of blood in Markar. That's the got a beauty. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I my tell father Klepper is the one you want to talk to. I just clean up. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the Dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the Dragonborn comes. Use the murdered girl's key to get in here. And the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know. Margaret. Oh, the <sighs> Meeting at the treasury house later today. Took them long enough. These people act like they own everything. Owner of Silverblood is the younger brother, but he's obviously the one in charge. Makes all the deals, bullies local landowners into selling to him. Even employs that wispy girl at the door to deter troublemakers like me. General Talius is growing impatient, but I'll bring back the deed to Signa Mine. On my life, I won't allow a group of Stormcloak sympathizers to own the prison to the most notorious criminals of the reach. They say no one escapes. Why? Is it really that secure? Maybe I've played my hand too soon by rushing the confrontation with Thonar. There are shadows around every corner in the city, and I know I'm being watched. Maybe we should join the Civil War. I'd like to maybe later when I'm again better at illusion spells because they're the ones who basically game changer spells 
making a larger fight. There's no shipments coming in, so I do nothing. Just drink. So also there's at least a temper of Talos and Dibella. You, I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. Hmm. I'm not causing trouble. You're finding it. That's bad enough. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. I work silver, like my father, and his father before him. I'm gonna be a silversmith one day, like my mother and father. Shrine of Talos. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. What are you talking about? You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. And you want me to find out why? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. Margaret was investigating Thonar. So the clues point to the Treasury House then. That makes sense. Thonar is involved in every facet of the city. Here's the gold I promised. Keep following the trail and there will be more in it for you. Who was Wailing? Where did he live? He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Wailing except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. You've leaked... <laughs> You've leaked into them in these murders. That's you sick son of a bitch. Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines. Rare for anyone who was in the Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like... My father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. Who are the Forsworn? They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The Nords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. That was about 20 years ago. But somehow they're still here, and they're killing people. Be careful who you talk to. So if we investigate this a little bit further, we're gonna get into trouble. Trouble guaranteed. Why are you bothering me, outsider? Mm, looking for work. I don't. Go bother Klepper at the Silver Blood Inn. He handles the newcomers. And by Ysmir, if you find work, just do what you're told. There's enough trouble in Markarth already. I should get back to work. Money doesn't count itself. So, you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? Yes, you should be. 
I can just shout you away out down from this goddamn building and you're going to be dead. People of Debella. 